Hi there guys and girls. We're going to be talking about the black saddle goatfish today. So that's Peripinius uh, fraticulus. A, the goatfish are quite easily identifiable. They all look very similar. Long kind of elongated type of fish with a mouth that kind of hangs down a little bit. So they're almost a, it's a very dif a difficult one to describe actually. But when you see them, you'll, you'll know what we're talking about. Overall sort of a pinky reddy color. Um, and the, the big difference between the Indian goatfish and the black saddle goatfish is the saddle actually just before you got the tail and then the rest of the body this way, the little black mark it actually sits saddled over that uh, pre pre tail section if you want to call it that, um, or the pre caudal area anyway. So that's that the saddle that sits there. That's why it's a black saddle goatfish. Now. In terms of locality, uh, South Africa, you're looking Mossel Bay, down, down far Mossel Bay, all the way north. Um, and yeah, you find them pretty much anywhere, in the, all the way from, not really in the estuaries, you're gonna find them in the shore zone, down to about 80 meters or so. So your, your near, shore, near shore area. Now, the main thing about the goatfish is that they've got these little tassels that sit underneath their chin. Now, almost like little dreadlocked dreadlock beard sections there. Now what they use this for, they use the tassels in the surf, I mean, sorry, use the tassels in the sand itself and they actually feel for all the little organisms. So they go through grazing and sort of they dip the tassel in, they're very very sensitive, got a lot of nerve sendings in them and they work their way through the sand like that and, and fiddle through until they feel something and then they can, can suck it in. So they're going to be feeding on anything that's in the sand, little shrimps, prawns, that kind of thing. Uh, a lot of your crustaceans and any other maybe even little mussels and stuff in there so they're gonna not filter through the sand but fiddle through it and then actually be able to eat the find the prey and know where to dig um, they've also done some research in them and they actually use the tassels in their courtship so pre-mating rituals and things like that they're going to use that for display or like fiddling along the female it sounds a bit dirty but take it seriously um, and just just use them in that kind of sense now, in terms of actually catching them, they, they're quite a tricky, tricky species to actually specifically target unless you, got, you know where the school is and you can actually go for that. But they're very, a lot of fun on your light tackle. They eat pretty much any bait, so we say they're, they're almost scavenger type setup, but they, they'll take anything from prawn, sardine, chocker, any of that. Um, they're not the hardest of fighting fish, but they do grow up to about 45 centimeters thereabouts. So, I mean, that's it's, it's a decent fight for fish. You're going to put up quite a good fight. Um, they've got a fairly small mouth, so use a slightly smaller 1 0 sort of max. Um, and you know, any of your light tackle is going to work for them. Um, if you're lighter spinning stuff on the boats or just behind the surf zone, if you can get to those further banks where the sand is churning a little bit. But yeah, as we say, it's quite a tricky fish to target specifically it's more of a bycatch species um, but they are excellent excellent eating fish the, their meat is is phenomenal a lot of flavor in it nice firm firm texture so as a as a fish to keep they are really really worth keeping for for eating eating purposes but you don't really don't need more than one so yeah the they put up a good fight on the light tackle heavy stuff it's kind of pointless very good eating meat, pinkish color, tassels that work in the sand. Yeah, black saddle goatfish. A hard one to, to get confused with other species other than the Indian goatfish, which only has the dot, not the whole saddle itself. So yeah, nice species, interesting one for the playlist and uh, the species list to put on. And uh, a lot of fun to target, if you can get them. Cheers, guys.